watch any episode of the reality TV series Most Haunted and you're likely to see some paranormal events occur. After all, haunting is in the title, but one episode in particular seems to show the first ghost caught on camera in the 15 year history of the show in which paranormal investigators pick over haunted sites. The episode in question was filmed at South Yorkshire's Wentworth Woodhouse, built in 1725. The private country house was forgotten in the 20th century and is often called the greatest historic house that nobody has ever heard of. The ghost appears in the form of a man strolling through a dark corridor. Come on, if you hit, if you hit, what, what's that? What's that? There. I can, Carl, I can see it there. Go for it, go for it. Oh. Yeah. I'm, I'm right behind you, I'm right behind you. Get your torch. The show's host, Yvette Fielding, called it the most groundbreaking footage we have ever recorded. But rather than giving us the answer we were looking for, it just gave us more questions. Many claim the footage was faked, while others said it supported the hypothesis that ghosts walk among us. But the cameraman, Carl Beatty, reaffirms that this was, in fact, real. We have never seen anything like this before. We really don't have an explanation for what we saw, he said, but the replay of the filming clearly shows the vision in detail. Spooky stuff. Caught on live TV, Mega Skelly 11 is a YouTuber who has been experiencing all sorts of strange paranormal activity throughout their home. Sometimes it's something simple like a potted plant wobbling on its own, and sometimes it's much more malevolent. Mega Skelly 11 claims that this is a poltergeist, and after reviewing this video, I have to agree. There's just too much going on at once to easily fake this in my opinion, and I see no indication that this is a setup. Let me know if you believe this is real, or if you have a better explanation. Sometimes if you want to know if a room is haunted or not, all you have to do is ask. Move it. Holy it's creepy, but I'm not sure this object really moved on its own. It sounds like a fan is blowing from side to side and could have moved the object instead of a ghost. Tell me if you hear it. Holy he might have put the bottle at just the right distance to make it seemingly move upon his command. Is this moment paranormal to you? I'm on the fence with this one. Mega Chris 18 and his friends know about a creepy old courthouse somewhere in Corpus Christi, Texas. They sneak in through a hole in the fence and start exploring the outside perimeter for a way into the building. Last time they were able to get in through a broken window, but they're disappointed to discover it's been boarded up since. Mega Chris 18 walks up and curiously knocks on the wood and receives an unexpected response. Hello? Hey, when I say hello, the light turned off and it turned back on. The group quickly develops a method of communication with the possible spirit using the light on their camera. Can you do that one more time? Can you do that one more time so all my friends can see that? Oh my God. That's so <laughs> the ghost uses the camera light to respond to a series of true or false questions. They soon learn that they are talking to the spirit of a young female who is somehow trapped inside the courthouse. After a while, they feel its presence slip away and stop getting responses. I really wish I could have seen Chris's hands to see if he was messing with the light. This video could be real, but we'll never know for sure. A YouTuber is walking around the local swamps when he stumbles upon a tree unlike any he has ever seen before. Creepy. A grimacing skeletal face of solid oak emerges from the trunk. Its sagging eyes, ceased brow, pointy nose with two nostrils, and squared chin are all clearly visible. You don't even have to squint your eyes or look at a certain angle to see it. It's there right away, and it's even sitting on a long, twisted neck. 
There's no way to carve this, and the green speckles on his cheek perfectly match the markings found elsewhere on the wood. In other words, this isn't some kind of Hollywood sculpture plaster. It's an actual face found on a tree in the middle of nowhere. While on duty at a hospital one night, a security guard noticed something alarming on CCTV footage at around 11 p.m. Let's take a look. The mysterious ball of fire is later seen returning from the other end of the hall. The security officer notes that senior officers said this phenomenon is unexplained, but not uncommon. Many attest to having seen a child spirit, as well as the apparition of a young woman, wandering the grounds of this place. Is this one of their souls? I'd like to believe it is, but we can't rule out your run-of-the-mill bug anomaly either. Weigh in with your opinion in the comments. This faded family footage goes from heartwarming to horrifying. When you realize what this father has done to become a wanted man with a $100,000 reward on his head. According to the FBI, this man extinguished his entire family, wife included, and then created a gas leak in the home. He lit a candle and the house went up in an instant to cover his tracks. This was back in 2001 and no traces of him have been uncovered. He is still on the top 10 most wanted list just in case. A few days ago, strange sounds started coming from an old shower stall in this house that Alejandro has not used in years. He wasn't sure if it was rats or something, so he went up there with a camera and this scary sighting is what's been caught on video. Twenty seconds after showing us nothing was in the shower, this ghostly figure presses against the glass, flies upwards and disappears. This almost has to be CGI because there are absolutely no editing cuts, and the way they fade away doesn't look like somebody simply stepping away from the glass. He reinvestigates and the shower is just as empty as before. Who you gonna call? Likely this Russian YouTuber after watching this video. The YouTuber writes in Russian, When I started the project, I did not even imagine that it would get such results. Thousands of your posts about missed moments in Ghostbuster. The YouTuber explains that in past videos that he's posted, subscribers have found paranormal looking figures in the abandoned buildings he's explored. He ghost busts a couple of these myths, showing that looks can be deceiving. Looks to be a white figure beyond in the shadows of a darkened room. Dima explains that it was actually two pieces of white paper taped to the wall. However, he admits that other experiences do stump him. In one estate, something dark appears to be sliding slowly up a doorway in a room beyond. He concludes that it was either a bat rather than something paranormal, or that considering the estate is in the middle of Moscow, something else was on the premises and stuck their hand around the corner to see if he'd notice. Lastly, while exploring an estate, a ghost is seemingly captured peering from under the archway of a room. At this point during his exploration, Dima admits that a chill ran through his entire body. This one appears to stump Dima's, and he asks his viewers if they want him to return to this place and try and recreate the scene and its circumstances to figure out once and for all what happened here. Do you want to know? Or do you think the undead are best left undisturbed? Something is watching, but what that is, we don't know. TikToker Axel Loza Official shares this creepy video, captured in these boys' room at night. Two boys are seen sitting straight up in bed, staring at something. What are they looking at? Well, you're about to find out.
A childlike face is peering out from a frosted closet window, but when the cameraman goes to open it up, this happens. <laughs> Where did she go? While I would be hiding in the comments with everyone else, I'm going to check all my closets real quick first. This one is especially haunting. Published to YouTube by TVR Exploring in December of 2019. The uploader explains that Ingolcheck was a mining town that was abandoned twice, once by the dissolved Soviet Union and then again by a foreign company that tried its hand to little success. But it wasn't the environment that surprised TVR exploring, it was the encounter he had underground that he can't get out of his head. After TVR films the remote mountainside and the surrounding buildings, he heads into the mine, where he's looking at some rusted old gear left on a workbench. You start to hear howling from deep within the tunnel. There's water dripping which drowns out the sound somewhat, but you can hear distinctly the otherworldly scream as TVR describes it. Although he's a self-proclaimed skeptic and doesn't necessarily consider the sound to be supernatural, TVR says all the hairs stood up on the back of his neck. After reflecting, he still doesn't know its source, and he asks his audience for their thoughts. Some say it's obviously a ghost or demon, others the wind, and still others consider it may be hydraulic. Although there's no definitive answer. Everyone seems to agree that this man is extremely brave. A YouTuber named Visually Creeped TV is walking around a cemetery in Wisconsin when he hears creepy whistling from within a crypt that is locked and 100 years old. Take a look and try to tell me which direction you think it's coming from. Let's go walk down here. What the f the only thing I find odd is that he initially looks in the opposite way of the crypt. When he first hears the noise, if the whistle was truly coming from inside of the crypt, I think he would instinctively turn the other way. He quickly walks around the crypt to verify no one is around, and then he hears the whistle again, this time where he just was moments ago. Oh, like, right behind me. Hello? Overall, there's no easy way to fake this video. It doesn't really sound like speakers or anything like that, and it does sound like it's coming from inside of this structure. But the gates are chained shut. It's 3 in the morning when a YouTuber named QTube hears a knock at his door. He begins recording for his own safety and debates whether or not he should even look outside. Whoever knocked must have immediately ran away and left a package for him to open, which he soon does. I was half expecting some kind of rigged device or something like that, but what's really inside is just as weird. If this video is to be believed, then someone woke up QTube in the middle of the night for no other reason than to give him a pizza box with a gummy pizza inside. It's either the work of someone with a bizarre sense of humor or else totally insane. The whole event leaves QTube cautious and confused. Prank or not, he doesn't exactly seem thrilled about being the target of someone in the middle of the night, and I can't say I blame him. Let me know if you think this was just a harmless joke or if the next home delivery is going to be much worse. An abundance of paranormal activity means Stephanie Elmager is never truly home alone. I'm gonna walk around my house. The reason I'm filming this right now is I'm trying to catch some paranormal activity on my recorder. As you can see, there is nobody in my house. Do you hear that? My TV just came on. A kid's program politely tells her to get out of the house, and then the lights turn on by themselves. Oh, and the alarm just went off. Do you see this? There is nobody in this house. The TV just came on. Holy. If that was a ghost, give me another sign. Anything. Anything. You gotta be kidding me. Does everybody see that? She crosses the kitchen to show us where the light switches are and... There is nobody in this house. Look, the lights are right there. If anybody at all, I'm gonna turn it off. It was even up. Look, if anybody... Holy... What the... 
A bedroom is haunted by a pale figure with a long, crooked neck who is either standing behind or on top of her bed. When she does a double take, she finds it much closer now, peering at her from around the door. Oh my god. Okay, I don't get scared very often. Oh. That just freaks me out. Okay. Let's walk back in there. I agree with her completely. I saw it too, so either this is a real ghost sighting, which I'm almost sure it is, or we are both losing our minds. I am not losing my mind. There is nobody in here. Look. There is nobody anywhere. A live ceremony in France starts out normal enough until 7 minutes and 11 seconds when an object moves on its own like a ghost is about to throw it. The object levitates until the clergyman puts his hands down, at which point it stops. This happened on live TV in front of thousands, so someone tell me how it could be fake. Stranger still, a man in the audience claims to have seen a supernatural apparition in the dark doorway. A ghostly figure with a white face and hair who watches the ceremony from afar. The full version of this video has never been put online, to my knowledge, but this picture apparently shows the figure. I think there is a good chance that it is Photoshop, but it looks creepy and is worth mentioning. So if anyone out there is good with Photoshop, then let me know if this is a real picture, or if this scary face was edited. It. Most people run away from monsters, but these two friends seem to be chasing one down. The creature looks to be very wide and is either covered in matted black fur or wearing huge black robes. I can't exactly tell which one. What I do notice are the impossibly large feet, and even though it's kind of hard to see, towards the end of this clip I can barely make out a gigantic white hand that is almost the size of its entire body. The creature's proportions make absolutely no sense, and when it turns around to defend itself against them, the front looks even more horrifying. Look again and you'll see the creature has a giant grey face that is twisted and warped beyond recognition. This still frame shows what I am talking about. Let me highlight the two eyes and open mouth so you can see it better. And of course, its oversized, gnarled hand is reaching out for them both. A Redditor named SteezySteve7 posted this work camera video of the creepy basement at his coffee store job. It's a quarter to one in the morning when his boss receives a phone notification of movement down there. This is what tripped the motion detection equipment. That looks like it could be a ghost to me, but maybe it's also a piece of a spider web? This basement looks like it has plenty of them. Can someone let me know if spider webs can set off motion detection equipment? I think they probably could, in which case, mystery solved. Ooh, what did you say? Can you say that again? Right into the side of my thing? I heard you. A TikToker named Deadbeat TV is investigating a haunted farmhouse for traces of the paranormal when he gets an answer to his question in the form of a passing shadow. What did you say? Can you say that again? He is standing completely still, and yet something moves fast across the floor. The shadow is perfectly contained within this room and does not touch either side of the doorway at all. It doesn't come from behind. Something ran across this room, a low moving shadow with no body attached, and shortly after, this second ghostly shadow reaches out. This seems like something paranormal to me. During a thunderstorm over Barcelona, an unidentified flying object popped in for a visit. Shared by Redditor Little Space Moshi, this large, unidentified flying object left its blinkers on. The unidentified flying object appears unmoved by the lightning. The large saucer just hovers there, leaving many concerned, but don't be alarmed.
While it may be fake, I think that a CGI artist should earn an Oscar for this one. This video was taken at the Galway Swimming Club in Ireland. It may not seem like much at first, but lion's mane jellyfish like this one can grow larger than a whale and have more than a thousand poisonous tentacles. Each one can be over a hundred feet long. In other words, it's one of the last creatures you'd want to ever see lurking in a public swimming area. Hundreds of these slow-moving monsters have been showing up on the west coast of Ireland and no one knows why. Marine experts are completely baffled as to what could have changed in the waters to accommodate them, especially in such large numbers. Meanwhile, lion's mane jellyfish are continuing to send swimmers to the hospital, and the infant station shows no signs of slowing down. While driving over a long period of time, it wouldn't be unusual to hallucinate a sighting on the side of the road, a deer or a cow perhaps, but might an entire car full of people see the same hallucination at once? While driving in the Philippines, a group including actress Myrtle Sorosa was traveling across what the narrator describes as a far-flung area. They had to take an alternative route from the original, as one was flooded, while another was shut down due to a landslide. After enough road was cleared to cross, they traveled across the mainly deserted, uninhabited area. No street lamps some trees, but mainly just road. It was after midnight when, out of nowhere, they saw it. <laughs> what appeared to be a 10-year-old child wearing a bluish-white shirt crouched in the middle of the road with his arms and hands covering his face. An uproar can be heard on the video as they pass the figure, and most of the people in the car claim to have seen the boy. They wanted to stop and return, but the area was unsafe, so they decided to watch the dash cam footage to make sure that their eyes weren't deceiving them. The footage showed a white blob-like orb figure appear and then quickly vanish. The driver believed the spirit they saw was of a child who had his life taken by a typhoon. According to one passenger, if he was really just a spirit, I hope he can find rest. If he was really a child, my conscience will forever haunt. With the video title, Doberman vs. Mailman, I think we're all expecting there's a dog at this street address who is really tired of seeing this mailman, and today it's going to deliver him a final message of its own to stay away. The mailman slowly approaches, Clearly, he's dealt with this Doberman before, but as the Doberman isn't doing the same slow approach, he quickly turns around and is soon being chased, running for his life. The dog catches up quickly and appears to snatch something from him and heads back to the house. The mailman's demeanor switches from terrified to looking like he's having a fun time. So maybe he was in on this from the start, or maybe he's happy the Doberman didn't try to snatch an arm or leg instead. Have you ever got the feeling that you're being followed? Poppy's Paradise posted this footage to Reddit writing, something is following me. The guy in the clip says he was driving when he noticed something outside in the darkness. He stopped his car on the side of the road to film whatever it is, and he shouts a greeting to the figure outside the window. There's something up here. Hello? As he drives slowly past, the something that he saw following him comes into view. The figure looks like a girl straight out of the ring, dressed in white with long black hair. The ghastly creature is seen only for a moment before the clip ends. Is this thing truly following him? We can only hope this was his only sighting. You would need serious courage to stay calm in a situation like this. A man is all by himself when he hears a wild animal tearing through his home. Eventually, he corners it in the bathroom and cautiously enters with a camera. This is what he records moments before running away to call the police. A wide-eyed humanoid slowly straightens out while eyeing him with a calm expression. Like the uploader says, 
It's hard to tell if this was a human or not, and everything from genetic experiments to the rake has been suggested in the comments. Is this video real? And if so, what do you think it was? The Stones River Paranormal Team is investigating a haunted courthouse in Tennessee when something truly bizarre happens. One of them is talking about how cold their hands feel when all of the sudden, One of the double doors leading to the bathroom unlocks and swings shut. The team tries to recreate the situation to see if it's just a loose hinge or a faulty lock, but this doesn't seem to be the case at all. The door has no problem staying open for the rest of the night and doesn't shut again. Long before this particular room was remodeled, it was used as a prison for captured Union soldiers. During the Civil War, it only makes sense that paranormal activity would occur in this historic corner of the courthouse. A family outing is interrupted when an unknown object floats towards them, barely noticeable at first if not for its shimmering color and odd movements just beneath the surface. As they curiously approach, they can see it's not an object floating underwater, but rather an unidentified creature, an unknown worm-like blob that makes one of them turn away in fear. This is his real reaction caught on camera. Tell me what language this is and what's being said so we know where this video was taken from. At 37 seconds, a brave family member tries to grab it with their bare hands, and back underwater the creature goes. They claim to have a second video which, as of this time, has yet to be uploaded. According to them, the bottom of the creature has a face with one dark eye. Hopefully they upload part 2 of this creature sighting soon, so we can all see it. It looks real so far, but I will reserve my final analysis until then. While this doesn't look like your classic unidentified flying object, it certainly is one. Published by Arte Morbid in April of 2022, this scary video captured something hovering over a street in Mexico City. Security camera footage shows a dark object floating down the center of the street about a foot above the pavement. While the uploader thought it was a Mylar balloon at first, a closer look had him second guessing. He notes that it has a shadow and sometimes moves in a slight rotation. Some of the comments still think it's a Mylar balloon or a drone. Others think it's CGI. One commenter says it looks like it's morphing in and out. Do you have any other theories? I think there's certainly something mysterious going on here. A YouTuber named Bay Rose Alley records his science teacher conducting a dangerous classroom experiment. He orders everyone to the back of the class and for good reason. Good job. <laughs> Somehow, a huge plastic jug combusts into a giant fireball that knocks the teacher backwards. If he hadn't made everyone go to the back of the room, they could have easily gotten caught in the blast too. I'm not sure what the point of this experiment was, or exactly what was inside of the jug, but if you have done this before at your school, then tell me what is going on here. And more importantly, what was supposed to have happened? Dr. Lost Syndrome published this video in May of 2014 writing, a little short video where Maskey gets some payback for the taggers ruining his hideout. The video follows a pair of teenagers in what looks to be an abandoned building in the wilderness. The building is full of graffiti, and one of the lads starts spraying some more over top of it. That's when they hear this strange noise. The first time they hear it, they brush it off. The second time, they start to wonder what's up. The camera is passed off to the dude while the girl continues spraying in the room. The man heads outside, looking around the area and shouting hello. Hello? When there's no response, the two pass off the camera again, and then again, as the girl goes to check if there's anyone out there, while the man continues spray painting. 
After painting a bit, the man scans the graffiti in the room. That's when he arrives at the door to find Masky outlined in the doorway. The masked man charges him and knocks him to the ground. It appears the man is knocked out cold. What is unclear is what Maskey did with his body. Maskey's revenge is certainly not something you would want to think about as you fall asleep at night. And trust me on that one. Hey Michael, is that you? This video, known to most only as Michael Is That You, has gone viral and spawned a ton of rumors and re-uploads. People are trying to figure out what this creature is and if it's ever been sighted before. One rumor is that the eyes look similar to a February 11th, 2013 rake sighting video taken from somebody's backyard deep in the woods. Dude, there's some glowing eyes right there. The eyes are the same color and similarly spaced apart. It also holds its head roughly at the same angle, and like the Michael Is That You video, the eyes never once blink. On April 11th, 2013, there was a second rake sighting from the same person. And once again, this does look similar to three seconds into the Michael video where the creature first turns around. Although this 2013 sighting remains an unsolved mystery to this day, the same cannot be said for the Michael Is That You video. I've gotten a lot of requests to analyze this scary video, so I did some digging and here is my final analysis. While this video looks convincing, it's not real. I did some research and was able to track down the original upload to a channel called Zulu Bao Productions. I know this is the original video because it's the only upload that shows exactly how it was made in a 3D rendering program. You can see the creature itself, which isn't so scary. Once it stands up straight and loses those glowing green eyes, Once he does make the arm super long and thin, and folds it into an unnatural position in the corner of the room, do we get the creepy mysterious creature that went viral, add a detailed skin texture and we're back to horrifying. I just wanted to give credit to Zach of this channel because so many people asked me to cover this video that I knew I had to find the original source and dispel the rumors. So the next time you see this video somewhere on the internet, you'll know it was fake. This was just something Zach did for fun and practice in his own words on December 18th, 2019. He never expected it to go viral but appreciates the recognition. I think he did a very convincing job, so good of a job that it is still sparking rumors and making its rounds on the internet to this day. You might want to bring a shield and armor when this uninvited guest shows up to your family reunion. Published to YouTube by Ghosted UK in November of 2019, a group of people appears to be watching something going on off screen when all of a sudden a poltergeist pops up beside them. Something up on a shelf is sent crashing to the ground. Start the group all turns to look and most start laughing. Watching your knees, Andrew, for some reason. Yeah. It's unclear what the disturbance was and what object was flung, but it seems to have been thrown with some aggression. Would you be laughing if this happened to you? A YouTuber named R. Travis is exploring a haunted restaurant that used to serve Chinese food. The inside is extremely old and the walls have rotted down to bare support beams. He feels watched and grows increasingly anxious and begins to talk loud and fast to himself in an effort to keep calm. Sometime during his nervous ranting, he makes a comment out loud about a spirit he sees standing at the top of the stairs. I don't give two flat oh, it's a set of stairs here, let's roll. They might not be stable. I've just seen a figure up there, but I'm not honest, I'm going chasing him. Nothing really stands on camera. Could this purple triangular shape be whatever it was he was talking about? At first, he says he's going to leave it alone, but up the steps he finds nothing but an old musty attic with a worn out floor, but there's more than that up here. I just seen another figure then. Three black spirits have seen them past me now. Aside from this white light that passes by at three minutes and 10 seconds, I do see some shadow figures. And a final shadow figure with white eyes can be seen here at three minutes and 22 seconds. 
They're all about the same height scattered around different parts of the room. And with all of them still watching, our Travis abruptly ends the video. 9 out of 10 people do not immediately notice what's wrong with this handshake. So allow me to show you where to look. Trust me, you'll be sorry that I did. Give me your hand. I like cake. I just don't like the ice. This is someone's right hand and yet they're on the left side. Also look at their fingernails. They're facing the wrong way. How can this be? The answer isn't pretty. The condition is called hypermobility. Though the phrase double jointed is commonly used, it's mostly genetic, meaning you are either born with this unusually large range of movement or not. Only 20% of people have it, though typically not to this degree, and there's no way for the rest of us to gain this talent, if you want to call it that, so don't even try to practice. Like most people, watching this video makes me feel like my fingers are going to fall off. Tell me if you would be able to shake the hand of someone with hypermobility while they were doing this. I mean, it's creepy, but also kind of cool. A ghost boy, known as a Pukong in Indonesian, was captured on film in this cemetery. Posted by Antarija, a cameraman is wandering a cemetery at night when he turns to spot this figure. The figure is standing wrapped like a mummy. The distorted face is barely discernible, and the cameraman quickly turns and flees into the darkness. He keeps turning back and somehow the figure is closer and closer. Its horrifying face is what nightmares are made of. It's not clear if the thing is chasing him, but it does seem to be on his tail. Did he make it out alive? Or are one of these graves for him? Let's hope not. A chef and his apprentice rummage around the kitchen to do some last minute prep work before opening. One of them undoes the plastic ties from all of the bread and then takes a few steps away. Moments later, he looks over only to see a single remaining piece of bread raise itself in the air and land in the corner with a smack. He tries to explain what happened to a co-worker as he examines the bread for anything wrong, finding nothing. I was waiting for it to jump back out after he throws it away, but I guess it's done moving for now. Everybody probably thought he was going crazy, and maybe he did too, until they checked out this haunting video for themselves and posted it online. This video comes from the haunted Far Side Lounge in Colorado. A woman sitting in the bottom corner is the closest person to what you're about to see, and both her hands are full. And yet this remote seemingly moves all by itself. It's as if something is picking this up, moving it slightly, and putting it back down. Meanwhile, the drink next to it stays perfectly still. She even notices it at the very end. So this is one of those problems that is either completely spontaneous or where everyone is in on it and plays along. The problem is I don't know which. If mysterious creatures with tails make you nervous, then strap in for this video posted to Reddit by Setless Grape. The video shows horsehair worms leaving their host. Horsehair worms are parasites that usually range from 2 to 3.9 inches long and are often found in bodies of water and other damp areas. Only the larvae are parasitic on beetles, cockroaches, and other insects. In this case, what appears to be a praying mantis, watching something that is 100% real and insanely disturbing is enough to make anyone nervous. Can you handle this horror you can't ever unsee? Nah, neither can I. This one is the thing nightmares are made of. Published in October of 2014, the footage begins with a vehicle driving down a dark road at night. After a bit of driving, he comes across a vehicle with its emergency brakes on in the middle of the road. The driver goes around this vehicle, but not much further. He has to slow down again, as there's a man with a baby stroller wandering down the road. He comes closer and closer. For some reason, the driver starts laughing. He puts the car into reverse. I'm not sure if laughing would be my first reaction, or any reaction for that matter but he keeps backing up slowly as the man with his baby stroller continues to pursue. Then he starts running at them. He's closing in, but the driver starts reversing faster. Finally, he loses the creep as everyone in the comments section of this video is asking, why? 
Why is this man pushing a baby stroller? Why down the middle of the road? Why late at night? Some in the comments were also a bit concerned. Savannah Rose wrote, What if he had a kid in there? Well, John Garza posted a theory. They are trying to rob you. Seen this in Corpus Christi, Texas. Whether this baby stroller man was trying to rob anyone or not, one thing's for certain, he should get another tactic. A YouTuber named The Spyro Gamer has a mysterious problem with his PS4 controller that I don't think is covered by the warranty. The unexplained video begins with him turning the controller on and the light on the top remains solid like normal. But whenever he passes by this area of his room, I just need my cover, so if I go over here, There, look, see? See? See that? The controller flashes in a mysterious way and then turns off. No matter what he does, the controller refuses to stay on in the closet. Keep in mind it was able to stay on normally when he was on his bed so the controller appears to be set up properly and not broken. The unexplained video starts to make a little more sense when you consider ghosts supposedly can disrupt electronic equipment and that's when the ghost stops trying to hide. I think it's gone. Yeah. Oh, oh shit. Oh. He feels something walk by, the controller turns off, and then the door slams. Freaky, right? This 1994 video footage was recovered somewhere in the South American country of Paraguay. The footage itself is just some kids hanging out together late at night, but the audio is completely messed up and sounds like something straight out of the underworld. <laughs> More than one viewer has said they've heard subliminal messages from this video, which is little more than a series of five second clips pasted together. At one point we see a disjointed figure standing in a strange pose, followed by this deep noise. I guess the sound could be distortion from an aged tape, but in my opinion it almost sounds like a possession at times. Let me know if you agree that there's something sinister about this video, and if any of these kids could have had a spirit lurking inside of them. If you've ever had an attic, then you know what it's like to hear any kind of sound emanating from above. Absolutely freaking terrifying. YouTuber Sean Wells 2001 seems to agree, as he decided to investigate the rattling in his attic, which he says only happens at night. Sean writes, Steven, my roommate, says it's the wind because I leave my windows cracked at night for fresh air, but not sure if it's the wind. Sean set up his camera in his closet atop a pile of jeans to catch the rattling while he slept. This is what happened. At around 4 a.m., the attic door starts rattling jarringly. It sounds like someone is trying to get out. You can actually see the door move aggressively and repeatedly. A while later, it happens again, and Sean notes that you can hear his dog whining in the background. Many in the comments think the source of the noise has got to be paranormal. Others consider that it might be a squatter trying to mess with the homeowners. Though different theories abound, most can agree on one thing, it's not the wind. A ghost hunting team led by paranormal investigator Lavina goes exploring a haunted chapel in Dixon, Oklahoma, or they try to at least. Getting into the haunted place is not as easy as it would seem. What the? She went to open that door and it and it come back on her. 
At 42 seconds, one of the investigators opens the door a crack and it slams back with an unreasonable amount of force. Something from the other side, something paranormal perhaps, does not want them to go any further. They take the hint and don't stay for much longer, but apparently something has no problem opening up their door and coming with them for the ride home, as evidenced by this paranormal activity caught on their ghost meter equipment. Is there a speaker following us? Oh my Their paranormal equipment flips out when she gets stern with the supernatural. You need to leave now. Just said no. Lavina must have asked too many questions because soon she goes into a trance like state and begins to nod even though she was very active and alert moments ago. She stares at them with an expression they do not like or recognize as they wrestle the ghost meter out of her hands. Her eyes are not how they've ever seen before. Lavina. 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 Give me we that. We gotta go. Look, we need to go. Give me that. Get out of Give here. me that thing. Even she does not recognize herself. Tell me if you think they're acting or not. You see it? Oh my god, my eyes are like glowing. Yeah. Like, like a bloodshot. I am more skeptical, except faking this part doesn't explain the door slamming shut by itself, or the ghost meter responding to their specific questions in real time. With that in mind, I think this paranormal investigation might be real. The evidence was probably not worth it in the long run, considered they may have inadvertently forged a spiritual attachment to something beyond the grave. A TikToker named Jayla has a strange and creepy window that she attributes to a helpful ghost. Really want the window to open. Mr. Ghosty, can you keep opening it for me? I didn't do anything. Clean my room, did everything that I a little bit more, please. I can't leave. I can't. I feel like I'm missing some kind of obvious scientific explanation as to how this window is able to do this by itself. It would be weird enough for a window to go down on its own, but one going up is just a whole other level of bizarre. She seems way too calm for it to be a spirit, but maybe she is used to its presence by now. If not, what else could it be? While well, using the Randonautica app, Sunny Deeds and CJ Faison were driven into one of the most haunted forests in America. Even before setting out on their journey, they hear something in the woods. Sonny, I'm not kidding you, we had a t like 20 mile drive going there. They quickly head out and arrive at their destination. Alright, so I don't. What, uh. So there's a pair of, supposed to be something here associated with, what is it? Mysterious, Mysterious information. Again, something is nearby. Conspiracy um, on what actually, you know, is believed to have. What the f was that? Is it stalking them? It sure seems like it. Soon they find a note on the ground. And it says, Let's see if they are. What are the odds of that. And moments later, <laughs> their fun soon turns to terror. <laughs> what the f was that? Dude, that was a bat.
Was it a bat? It literally just buzzed right by your guys' head. I hope Damn. the camera caught that. Although the latest mystery may be solved, I'm still wondering if Sonny and CJ have a stalker who remains unseen. Mustafa Sven is one of the very few brave paranormal exploration channels from Iraq and he is definitely one of the best. Let's check out a 24-hour challenge he took at a scary haunted abandoned house that he's always been afraid to go exploring. It isn't long until paranormal entities come wailing for him and all of the creepiness is caught on video with two different cameras. It starts with little things that are quite weird like a shadow moving strangely in the hall behind him. I mean, yeah, I guess it could just be his hand, but the shadow doesn't exactly follow his movements and I don't know, the angles just don't match up. Then shortly after the spooky shadow passes by, more weird things are caught on camera. The backpack is actually very well balanced and should not tip over, and it bothers him that it does. He tries to recreate the situation and cannot. Scary noises aside, the backpack is far from the only object caught on camera moving by itself on this haunted night. A stone silently dislodges from the mantel place and crashes to the ground, followed by another one. The poltergeist is pulling this house apart brick by brick, willing to do whatever it takes to scare this ghost hunter away. <laughs> A padlock bounces on its own like a ghost is trying to open the door. Watch closely and tell me if you think this is a poltergeist or someone on the other end of the door poking through the crack with a stick. But just when I was beginning to think this video might not be paranormal, it becomes one of the creepiest videos I've seen in a long time. A rising wail of spirits closing in makes him realize this 24-hour challenge needs to be cut about 20 hours short and so he finally leaves. When the past on are literally beneath your feet, you're bound to step in something. Published to YouTube by Exploring with Eric in May of 2020, Eric visits a graveyard at 3 in the morning in his new series, The Devil's Hour. My objective is to document all sorts of evidence that relates to the paranormal world, whether it be poltergeist activity, any shape or form of apparitions, etc. By using my basic ghost hunting equipment, in this series you will see myself investigate alone. During the first episode, he gets more than he bargained for. While in the cemetery, Eric finds a mausoleum. After hearing a loud knock during a spirit box session, the glass door closes. He then says he heard someone's voice and he hopes there's no one here messing with him. Just as he decides no one's there after wandering around the premises, he hears footsteps. I'm gonna go ahead and show you exactly where I wanna show you. He runs up the stairs to the second floor to see who is there, but there's no one. He notices that the doors are open to the outside. As he shows his viewers a fountain in the middle of the mausoleum, he hears footsteps again. He returns to the inner mausoleum, where the doors are again closed. Finally, he decides to leave and it's standing outside, saying he'll return again at some point. But as he pans around, 
A large shadow figure moves behind a nearby tree. I just, it's too much. It's too much for me right now to handle and like. What was that? Is that what's been watching him? It's probably time to say goodbye. What goes up must come down. Posted by V Fieldson on TikTok, as Fieldson walks beside a house, capturing a bicycle lying in the middle of the sidewalk. He pulls the shot upright, catching the roof of the house in frame. Someone is up there watching him. The watcher appears to be filming him too. At least, he seems to be holding something with a light on. He rushes from view, and darkness envelopes him. Of course, this is TikTok, so that's where the clip ends. However, as we know, what goes up must come down. After all, he's got to come down from that rooftop eventually. This video requires a bit of backstory. In 1961, Massachusetts housewife Stella Lansing started to experience things of an extraterrestrial nature, including men in black, humanoids, UFOs, and otherworldly visions. She captured much of her experiences on various types of film. It wasn't until 1967 that Stella bought a silent 8mm film camera. Although she'd taken photographs of the odd sightings, the film camera captured more, strange images and structures that Stella never saw in person, but that turned up on film. And yet again, Stella came across the strange lights while driving on Route 32. She exited her car to see them better, as did another driver. The lights were yellowish and, as Stella described, silently walking from east to west to the old cemetery. The other driver had also seen the lights. This was Stella's chance to catch the orbs on her 8mm camera, so she headed back home to retrieve it and then returned to the intersection. More lights appeared, with one of the red ones bouncing like a rubber ball, as she described. A friend showed up and the pair watched the lights together until they burst into a white light. As she continued her recording of these strange events into the 70s, she discovered an odd clock-like pattern on her photos and films, as well as geometric pattern overlapping the frames on the film itself. The mystery only grew in 1991 when a TV show called Sightings did a segment on Stella's video logs when they exported her silent 8mm film to VHS. Unknown voices were heard. Stella has since passed away in 2012, and no one can explain the mystery of her sightings. Thank you so much for getting me to 40,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Can you help me reach 50,000 subscribers? Thank you.